I have one last section for you, one last question, uh, which is related to genetic engineering. Mm-hmm. Um, we had Fab on the show two days ago, and he spoke about how he uh, injected his muscles with uh, folistatin, mm-hmm. and that stopped the degradation of muscle mass. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he wasn't working out, but his muscles weren't degrading, and that's like one level of genetic engineering. Mm-hmm. But CRISPR as a technology is evolving as well. where you literally be able to for lack of better words to describe it you'll be able to make designer babies after yeah. point by altering yeah. genetics yeah. based on whatever i've read about crispr and designer babies i think it's fairly easy to do some kind of genetic engineering on an infant or a child that's growing up um but i don't know how difficult it is to do the same kind of genetic engineering on a fully grown adult so what have you figured about genetic genetic engineering at this point and what are you figuring about it going forward yeah so it's um the that full set and gene therapy i got as well um it it actually doesn't modify the genome it just allows for increased production of full set so it's it's labeled as a gene therapy but it's really at the layer of increased expression of this protein gotcha so you're not actually like changing the genome um The other technologies there's been a few advances even the, in the past few months that make it even better than CRISPR. So it's it's coming. It's inevitable. We're going to figure it out. It's not clear when it's going to be at market. Like of course, people are already doing embryo selection and like we're already starting to play with this. Like don't die is starting before conception. Mm. Like, which is wild. Like it's so even So someone in their 20s, they may begin a health journey and their friends may be like, "Why are you doing that, man? You're you're 20 years old." But they're almost late to the party. Cuz now it's happening before conception. Mm. Right? So 20, so my son is 19. He started doing a blueprint with me when he was 16. So it's just going to start earlier and earlier, and I'm guessing that cultural norms are going to change so that our entire society is optimizing for um a reduced speed of aging and prevention of aging damage it would just be the norm like everyone's going to do it and so like this whole idea of debauchery and uh like this slow boil suicide that we do of like calling drinking with friends fun or like missing night like the way you want to live life all of it's just going to go away mm. uh, like i don't think i think culturally that will be viewed as lowbrow it would mm. just it will be looked down upon i agree and it will be much more um celebrated if you actually uh honor your conscious existence with this uh level of respect that why would anyone do anything that would cause disease or increased rate of aging and so i think that yeah genetics will also there'll be a push for that as well it will help us do that but i just think that the we are going to have a massive shift as a species it's going to happen faster than anyone thinks is possible and it's going to move towards this deep respect and appreciation for existence in terms of time how far are we from people actually altering their genetic profile a little bit it's no longer possible for any human on this planet to say anything intelligent about the future that is like the most interesting concept in the world is that we have always been the primary form of intelligence and we can model things out and make these probabilities on what will happen and when even if we're a little bit wrong we still are this form of intelligence where we can create these probabilities now that we're developing ai and it's moving at such a fast pace our ability to predict is almost zero <laughs> and so like just like simply like when i went to college i could say i'm going to study a certain thing and have a certain profession and then i'm going to work until i retire i could plan out my entire lifetime My son just finished his first year at school. He was doing math and physics. He has no clue what to study, and he has no idea if he should go to school or not. Mm. And there's no human on this planet that can give him advice on what to do. Should he study humanities? Should it be math? Should it be CS? Should he drop out of school? Nobody knows. So in one generation, you could plan out your entire life, and this generation can't plan a year in advance. Mm. And that is true across society. we cannot see directly in front of us so any prediction anyone makes is entirely made up
All right, like you can try to model these things up, but you're basically introducing AI as a new, ch- a new change agent where it's more capable than it ever has been. So all of our predictions are wrong. You know, this whole narrative about humans and AI working together will be the most powerful combination. I have a theory that um, I don't know how this will go about and you'd probably have more of an insight on this. But I think some kind of an AI-based software is going to be used by the world of science to heavily advance science. Mm -hmm. And any advancement in the world of science is usually um, translated into an advancement in engineering about 50 years later. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I think those engineers will also work with another AI software to make that no science to science to engineering transition within five years at some point. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically, I, th- I think it's reasonable to say the 2030s will make the 2020s look like the third century. <sighs> I think it's at that speed. If you just simply look at the math of how fast AI is moving, we don't know the specifics of how to predict things. We can just say absent any kind of catastrophic event that, that changes, you know, that like annihilates us, we're probably going to inc- improve at some speed and that speed is going to compound upon itself and some kind of, uh, maybe not even an exponential, just like a pretty swift curve. It's just going to change everything. And this is why, this is what Don't Die is about. I, I basically am proposing in this moment when we're giving birth to super intelligence, no existing form of human thought or human societal organization is equal to answer the questions in this moment. <laughs> not capitalism, not democracy, no religion, no construction of human thought is actually equal to this moment. Don't die is the only ideological system that is equal. And so we don't have time for this today, but uh, don't die is a political system. It's economics it's a social system, it's morals, it's ethics. So I, I host these Don't Die gatherings. It's a two hour long conversation and we work through these ideas and you'll come out on the other end understanding it. Until then, it's very hard to fully understand what it means. But basically what I'm saying is this is the new game every human on this planet is gonna play. This is the thing that allows us to give birth to AI and not kill each other. I hear you, Brian. This was an honor because I genuinely believe that you're at that brink of actually creating a practical change in human society. And I don't know how many human beings uh, in the current world population can say that from a societal perspective, from a macro perspective, from a millennium long perspective. So I wish you more luck, man. Uh, I know that existence is your God. Uh, I've not been able to exactly define what my God is other than the word divinity. So I pray to that divinity that you get to your purpose uh, even faster than you expect, man. So thank you for giving me your time. Uh, This is not the last conversation that we're ever having. I want to get to know your heart and your soul much more deeply, but I salute what you're doing. Thank you, I salute your mission. I appreciate you. Uh, So thank you for your time, your presence, and thank you for being on India's Biggest Podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.